Are you totally different when it comes to sex and copulation? Have you judged yourself out of receiving pleasure? Have you judged yourself into receiving pleasure in certain ways and excluded other ways? Would you like to know more about what else is possible with bodies? Would you like to create confidence in the bedroom and beyond? How has your sex life or lack of it affected other areas of your life? Everyone has the potency to be a sexual superhero. Get ready to listen, sense, and play with the sexualness that is you. Now, here is the host of The Pleasure Zone, pleasure diva and body whisperer, Milica Yelenich. Welcome, sweet pleasure seekers. Welcome to The Pleasure Zone. I'm so happy to have you guys all joining me this evening. We actually have a panel on tonight, which is something we have not done before, and I'm always up for something new, especially... You know, after um, almost four years of shows, and I'll be celebrating my fourth year in just a few weeks, actually, two or three weeks, um, I'm very excited to be celebrating that. I thought, why not? Let's try something completely off the mark and have a panel on tonight, because we're discussing something that I have absolutely no experience in whatsoever. And what could that possibly be on The Pleasure Zone that Melita Jelinek the host of The Pleasure Zone has no experience in. I've talked about all kinds of things, like anal sex and blowjobs. I seem to have confidence in that area. But guys, I have no confidence in talking. No, I'm not kidding. I don't have no confidence. I have some ideas. This is not my area of expertise. So I called on some friends who have experience in the online um, dating world that I don't have, and they range anywhere from like their 30s to their 50s late 40s i'm guessing i don't know how some old of you are some old of you some are how old some of you are that's what i meant but we got a wide range of ages going on here and i think that's kind of going to make it kind of interesting so what we're going to do is we're going to be discussing all kinds of a fun kind of tips and tools, because everybody has their own tips and tools. But I figured with lots of people on, we're going to get a lot of different information that you know we can all utilize. I don't know that my husband would be very excited that I would be like, I've got information to utilize for online dating. He'd be like, what? What's happening? <laughs> so, so yeah, we'll just, we'll just keep that on the DL, because he actually doesn't listen to my shows, so we're all good. He doesn't know we're talking about online dating today. Uh, or maybe he does. Maybe he got my email and he looked at that. So so I have a few guests on. Some of you might be familiar with some of my guests. Max Riggs has been a guest on my show actually back way in the beginning in my first year, I think it was, or second year, Max Riggs was on my show. And he ha- has also been on a few other shows um, as well. I think he was on Unchained with Becky a few times as well. Um, and Jonathan Birkinshaw, you guys all know him on my show as well. Sometimes he doesn't use his real name. Sometimes he just uses the J-Man. It depends. You never know who Jonathan will be when he shows up on my show, but he shows up, he often shows up with great information, and he's also been an instigator uh, of getting some of the shows out there with his weird, wacky ideas and all of the random research he does. So he does definitely inspire (laughs) quite a few shows. Um, Ariana Zariah, she's also on the show tonight, and I met Ariana doing a gift session for her, and I just adored her, so I invited her to come on and <laughs> chime in with her wisdom about online dating. As well, I have Lori K. Stansbury, who, when I put a post on Facebook, she responded and her energy matched, so I invited her in to come and play. So I, I just want to welcome all of you guys to the show, and before we actually get into some questions and things like that, um, we this show, by the way, we're going to just be plowing through a lot of information in the next, like, 50 minutes. Um, I'm really excited to pass on this information to you guys. You guys might want to take notes, but I also might make notes later and put them up there as a blog for you guys so you guys can have that. It depends on how motivated I feel, right? So um, first I'm going to actually uh, invite... Max Riggs to come online and discuss a little bit with us his experience with online dating, like when did you start it, what are some tools you use, and how has it been working for you? Well, hello, and thanks for inviting me on your show. 
Um, so I basically, I've been on and off online dating probably since almost the very beginning, um, back when like Yahoo had free dating sites and that sort of thing. And through all that time, I've been playing with or becoming actually more aware of my energetic capacities. And so I recently just got out of a six-month relationship and got back online and it was really interesting how I noticed about how when I first would get online on, I have a, you know, the, whether it's, you know, OkCupid okay on the computer or Bumble on a phone app, how I would almost instantly start to feel really wonky and funky. And when I'd finished going through, you know, looking at profiles and things like that, I would feel really out of sorts. And what I really got afterwards is that if you're a highly energetically aware person or a highly sensitive person, when we go online, we tap into all these crazy energies, all this energies of like looking for the one and I'm not good enough and all these other, woo, wow, that brought mm -hmm. up a lot of energy. And <laughs> so it is, it's just like this thing that I've actually started this process that every time I go online, um, when I come off, I do a set of, <laughs> of clearings and getting back to myself because basically we tap into, you know, everybody else's insecurities that are out there. And then when we're looking at photos or stuff like that, we grab, we, we can, you know, we can just like, it's just by tapping in energetically to these people, we can pick out, you know, all, some, some of the places that they're so good and also some of the really big insecurities and what they're worried about and all of that. You know, when we step back out of that, if we don't disconnect from it, we can still be there and it can really mess with us. Oh, so sure. what does that bring up for you when I mention stuff like that? Well, I could see that. Like I haven't done the online dating, but even just going on Facebook, like even sometimes you just go on mm -hmm, any kind of right. social environment, there's a lot of judgment that comes up and things like Instagram and mm -hmm. people are sticking their photos up there and you're like, Oh my God! I hope I get likes. You're like, well, whose reality is that anyway? There's a lot of stuff that comes exactly. up, and you sometimes walk away feeling poopier than you did when you started. So, I think that's really cool that you just do a whole bunch of clearings when you get when you get off um, line after tapping in there to you know other people's realities. I just wondered, Max, um, do you mm -hmm. did you create any like clearing loops, or could you create any clearing loops that maybe people could purchase from you that? Um, you know, after they get yeah. off online dating, they could just listen to your clearings for a few minutes. <laughs> exactly. So I actually have this one, which I call my crisis clearing audio. And that was originally developed for people that were having really energetic um, or emotional crisis. And I found that it can be used for lots of things, even like when we just have our emotions that are just like not the way we want to be. And so I, that's actually my process is when I get offline, I put on my clearing audio and then that just like works to remove those, remove those energies that we tapped into and we got um, affected by when we were online. That's awesome, Max. So um, maybe we can grab a link um, for those and we can have them available. I can put them, I will actually then just create a little uh, blog type thing so we can put your link in there so people could could have a link to buy that. Perfect. So that'll be something that'll yeah. be available in about a week. So some online online dating. Cool. I love I love that tool. Clear yourself out <laughs> right. you go on. <laughs> it's a great tool. Right. Yeah, and the thing that I think like, you know, people probably can probably get is, you know, I think a lot of people feel bad about like, oh, why can't I do online dating or why do I feel weird afterwards? And the thing is that there's nothing wrong with you. It's you're actually, there's something super right with you. You're able to tap into these things, which is this great capacity. But like any great capacity, um, if it's on like 100% all the time, it's not necessarily the greatest capacity. Um, so, right. So it's just like we can still play in all these fields, these energetic fields, because I'm not going to stop going online to <laughs> try to find somebody who would be a good match for me. But I don't want to be affected by that all the time. Absolutely. So I'm going to ask another one of our panelists 
Um, pretty much the same question because I'd like to hear. Uh, I think that's great clearing beforehand. I was because I haven't done the whole online dating. I'm just going to say that again. I haven't done it, but I always thought if I was going to do it, I would probably be asking. So, what app could I choose that would like create the greatest results for me? But I think in reality, it's like a lot of it's wonky. So clear yourself after. Regardless, oh, that's awesome. So, um, so Lori K. Stansbury, welcome to the show. And I'm just wondering, how long have you been online dating? What is your experience with it? And what kind of awarenesses do you have to share with our audience? Thanks. Um, yeah, well, you know, I, I remember doing a lot of, or a little bit of online dating when it first started. Uh, and then I didn't do anything. And then the last year, I've been playing with online dating and having a ton of fun. Um, for me, it's a real, like, that is one of the key pieces. Like, am I having fun with this? And if I'm not having fun with that, what do I need to do to change that for myself? And um, God, I had another thought. What was it? <laughs> but, am I having and, fun and, with this is a great thought. Uh, yeah, ha- am I having fun with that? And for me, what what I really also got cl- when I got clear about what I was looking for in the relationship, then it became really easy. And I kind of just said, okay, well, who who's a match for that? And um, the one of the people that I had like the greatest fun with was somebody that when I first looked at them and their profile, I was kind of like, eh, maybe not. And But there was something. And he was a little bit different. Like his profile picture was a little bit weird. And uh, like he had like a half a mask on. <laughs> and I was like, okay, that's a little weird. But it wasn't like so weird, right, for me. <laughs> and, um, and it's like so kind of like allowing myself to step out of, my comfort zone a little bit and and be aware of other people's energy. And uh, when I asked him about that, it was like, well, I wanted to stand out. And if you could, if you liked that picture, then you were going to be somebody that was attracted to me and somebody who liked me, not like everybody else who tries to take the same picture and do the same thing. So it was really, it was really interesting. It gave me some awareness too of what, what I could be doing, like in generating my picture and generating my profile and, and being a little bit, allowing yourself to be a little bit weird. You're weird. I like it. I like his, I like his <laughs> gumption to just like half mask. Like that's pretty, that's pretty daring because not a lot of people would respond to a picture with a half a mask. That's for sure. And for you to be following your knowing on that and, and then to be choosing what's fun for you, like, can it get any easier, guys? Can online dating actually get any easier than that? Follow the energy. Ask. I'm having fun with this. I really like that. So you've been you've been also kind of online dating for a while, and then you did the stopping, and then you're back on. So what do you find is different from when back in the Yahoo um, the Yahoo <laughs> chat room days to now? Like, what's the difference to you? <laughs> um. Wow. Well, honestly, well, sex is different. I mean, that was a long time ago. And sex, sex was, it didn't seem like sex was, sex seems like what a lot of people want right now. Uh, like you can get caught up in, oh, I just want to have sex and um, kind of forget the dating part of it. So I think that attitude is really different. Um, and, Well, you know, I think that for me that's a big thing. And I'm just, I'm older, so what I'm, um, I'm I'm just more, I'm clearer. And that that has changed a lot. And I think, you know, the access to it, everybody's, it's such a culture now. Like everybody's aware of apps. I mean, my mother who's 88 is aware of apps. She doesn't know how to use them, (laughs) but she's aware of them. So it's like, it's just everywhere. Um, and and anybody can be doing them, so you kind of there's a different way that I think you might have to filter um, what's coming through as well, because it Absolutely. is so prolific. 
it's literally everywhere. I think even when I'm not trying to online date, I end up getting approached. I'm like, well, I'm just on Facebook writing a post, and then I get dick pics. I'm like, fantastic. How's it any better than that? Didn't know I was looking, <laughs> but apparently I'm available, even though my profile says married, which is great. I'm I'm cool with that. <laughs> but, but at the same time, I'm like, wow, this is such a mysterious world. I'm not even looking for dating, and dating shows up. So, <laughs> so it's not that mm-hmm. like I don't don't online date it's like i don't officially online date but people try to online date with me or like try yeah. to get dates uh through online different social uh media stuff which is really funny so we're actually going to talk to the rest of our panelists we have two more panelists to talk to and we're going to talk to the rest of the panel as well about more interesting and fun things we have four people on the panel tonight so i want to give everybody a little chance to give us their scoop and their insight um we're actually going to do that when we come back from the commercial break that we're just about to head to um after you know we're chatting up here um my brain's not functioning on high speed right now (laughs) but we're going to head to a commercial break right after uh, i stop talking here on the pleasure zone on inspired choices network with me your hostess with the mostest melitza jalanik Many of us have created a lot of limitations around sex and what we are willing to choose. What else is possible beyond what we have already seen, heard, or thought of? What if now is the time for a totally different sexual revolution? Taking the taboo out of all aspects of sex, sexuality, and copulation by tuning in to the Pleasure Zone radio show with body whisperer Milica Yelenich. You'll receive tools, inspiration, and a foundation to allow yourself to receive more in your sex life and quite possibly other areas of your life as well. Listen for The Pleasure Zone with Melitza every Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, 7 p.m. Central Time, 6 p.m. Mountain Time, and 5 p.m. Pacific Time on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. What if there's nothing wrong with you? What if you're far greater than you've ever given yourself credit for? What if it's time to know the gift and the contribution you are to the world and to like yourself a lot more? Hi, my name is Dane here. 13 years ago, I started to truly ask questions. Actually, I started to be the question, and everything changed for me. Asking questions opens doors to infinite possibilities. And it's not about finding the answer. It's about being the question. Always. What I'm inviting you to step into is something that Einstein, Marie Curie, Newton, Da Vinci, Gandhi, Picasso, and Aristotle all knew to be true. What if no question is too big or too small? What if anything is possible for you? What if together we could create a kinder, gentler, happier world? Is now the time? Go to beingyouclass.com and sign up for a free video series, My Gift to You. beingyouclass.com What if you, truly being you, are the gift and change this world requires? beingyouclass.com This is The Pleasure Zone with body whisperer Milica Yelenich. To participate in the program today, please call in the U.S. Call 815-880-8255. That's T-A-L-K. Or Canada, 613-800-8736. Or you can Skype us at Inspired Choices Network. You can also make the choice to ask or comment by email at MilicaYelenich.com. Now back to the program. Welcome back, sweet pleasure seekers. So, so thrilled to have you on tonight with my panel. They are just extra fun and so exciting and lots of, like, just love the different takes that everybody has so far as well. We're talking about online dating and how to do it consciously. What can we do to be more conscious with online dating? For those of you who are just chiming in, we had uh, Max on, Max Riggs, as well as Lori K. Stansbury, who gave us some pretty cool insights. Max Riggs was mentioning that when he gets off of uh, off of the online dating sites, he often feels a bit wonky, so he does some clearings. And for those of you who um, would like to get his clearing loop that he mentioned, we are going to have that in the replays, so you'll be able to get that um, there. Click on it, purchase it, utilize it, um, and how much fun can you have with that? And Lori was mentioning, you know, ask, am I having fun here? Because <laughs> if you're not having fun, what are you doing? What are you doing? Follow the energy and have some fun. So 
I've also got two other panelists tonight, and the next person I'd like to introduce you to is Jonathan, who you guys have met on several shows, and we talked about some crazy things for a couple episodes before we, I don't even know, we've had so many episodes, it's been hilarious. And um, so, Jonathan, what is your experience with online dating, and what have you gleaned from watching others online date? What have you gleaned from watching yourself online date as an, from an observer's point of view? And what, what kind of tips and tools can you offer the audience so they can have a productive online dating experience where they can go out and have some fun, get some good times going, and maybe get actually what they're looking for out of online dating? Are those too many questions for you? You good? Darling, you can ask me questions all night, and I'd be quite okay with that. So, yeah. Well, thankfully, we have been on lots of episodes together, and you know what? This is my most favorite episode because I'm here with you now. So to answer your first of many, yeah, I know, right? And and that really ties in with the secret to uh, online dating is being present. You have to really be present with it because – in the technology aspect of it, it's easy enough to get caught up with the instant response and did they see the message, I've sent the email, it's been 37 seconds, where are they now? Um, I'm going to check their Instagram because now Tinder, Bumble, all those ones are linking to cross platforms. I see they're online, how come they're not responding to me? And then you send another message and another message and then next thing you know you're trolling and creeping and that does not go over well. Uh, so my experience on it is I grew up in a household that had a few computers in it, and even back in the days of the classic 286 computers, 386 Ooh. and so on, uh, really connecting in and jumping on to a variety of chat rooms. And Weren't you like in those uh, chat darling? rooms, you, I, I, like I was, uh, I was pretty online young. dating. I probably would have found you on there. It would have been so wrong. <laughs> well, I did actually meet someone, and I did fly to Ontario, but that's another conversation for another But you show. weren't four. So okay. I wasn't four, and I was, I was in the no. mid-teens. Um, okay. So with, uh, with it is you learn the art of, one, conversation, uh, two, finding that flow, um, and really sending and receiving it. Um, I believe that if you want to take it a step farther, just like Max was sharing about, is uh, tapping into the energy of it and really creating that um, sense of uh, what's the energy behind these words and then being open to the playfulness with that, um, especially when you do get a dialogue going. Um, I believe the experience for a, a man on online dating and a woman for online dating is very comparable. Um, slightly more favored, I feel, towards uh, with women. I think they might have a slight advantage. But just like uh, Lori was talking about, it really depends on what you're looking for with that person and what you're trying to achieve. If you're just looking for a rendezvous in the middle of the night, you probably don't have to try as hard or eh, it depends what you're looking for. Uh, if you're looking for a longer term uh, connection, uh, it's just really recognizing your platform and where you want to play in. Um, if you want to find that long term partner and collaborator, is Tinder the best place for that? Probably not, but you never know how you run in and bump into people that way. But my yeah, experience grinder. has been... Well, it, it I, I don't have a right. lot of... Or grinder? No? You don't have yeah. any experience on grinder. I'm too familiar okay. with it. I, I have more experience right. on Scissor than I do with Grindr. Um, oh, the, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, we talked about Scissor that one show. Yeah, we and did. We <laughs> again. You, you actually educated <laughs> me on Scissoring. You educate me. So yeah, much. exactly. True. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, the future, the future of dating. But here now with our technology, it's uh, kind of interesting. But even going back to... Um, when I was really actively getting involved in it, um, at that time in my life, when I was a teenager, I actually had a toll-free number. Um, so that actually made it a little bit easier because you can actually share a toll-free number and kind of connect in. And why I had the toll-free number is another conversation, which I, I'm open to have with people over a coffee. But where it is now um, with the fast track of our nature with the ability to have your phone be in proximity of someone else, having it go off, and then even putting out that signal of, 
hey, I'm available right now for a coffee or who wants to go for a movie or a drink or, or some kind of event. There's tons of variety of apps. I, I believe that it's opening up more possibilities. And the main reason I liked online dating when I was working um, uh, this one particular contract, which was every day of the week, um, is it's an online portal that you get to present your avatar out into the world to connect with people because you can't always be at the gym or yoga or the grocery store or pottery and things like that. So when you create your profile, it's just really being conscious aware of what you're putting out um, because those photos, you might think, oh, it's just me having fun and I got whipped cream all over my face and I got shots around me from a birthday party, whatever the case is. But you think it's like, I'm showing that I'm a fun person. Now to someone else, they can go, wow, they're a crazed alcoholic and they're at the strippers. <laughs> so everyone's going to have a different uh, presentation. And a lot of times less is actually more. Um, and I feel as a man pursuing that online dating is really reading what the woman or whoever you're pursuing is is presenting and then looking for three to five different questions that you can throw up there and then kind of flow uh, the dialogue on there and not being aware or better yet, not being afraid of asking for the next step and whatever that is. Um, so if you start with an online date, uh, whether you migrate to a phone call or um, a meeting online or Skype or whatever the case is, uh, there's a lot of right ways you can, uh, navigate with people online, um, and especially if there are local or um, more distant as well. I, I met a gentleman whose wife died, um, and he had a giant property with a lot of gardening. It wasn't practical for him to run it, so he created an online dating account on a uh, Christian dating mm -hmm. site, and within six months he was married uh, again to another lady, and they're still together, and it's been years. Um, but with That's him, so he was very clear. He wasn't wasting time. This is what I'm looking for. This is what I'm aiming to create. Where do you find it? Um, but I believe, you know, just putting out the feelers, and uh, it's okay to uh, go with the numbers. Um, I, I feel in the in the day when I was more active in the online dating world, sending out for every mm, however many emails out and then thinning it down, it's uh, it's quite the process and to navigate to an in-person meetup or, or whatever the case is. So like I said, it depends on where you're at, where you're functioning and what you like at, to get out of it. And some people just want the pen pal interaction and may never ever want to get together for a coffee or in person. So. Do you think that's actually true? People go to online dating sites and they just want a pen pal? <laughs> Come on, Jonathan, mm -hmm. they're all looking for a night of shagging, aren't they? I have pen pals all around the world. I mean, no, I don't. I have... I'm only <laughs> committed to one individual, and she's a dynamic, special, uh, special person in my reality who supports me on my life's mission, and and that's where I choose to flow my energy. So, but if people want to jump in and have a splash along the way, that's neither here nor there. And I'd encourage <laughs> you to sign up for a session with my friend Max, and and uh, definitely a, a play and uh, using the energetic techniques and really being clear. And I feel if you are getting a sense of what you want to tap into on an energetic level. When you're scanning and looking at those photos, you can actually tap into the other person's energy as well um, and uh, kind of play around with it as well. So it's, yeah, these tips and tricks may not be for everyone, but it's uh, just having fun, being present, asking questions, and not being too serious about it along the way. So I love it. This actually started a bit of a convo in the uh, in the chat room between the ladies on the panel. Um, Lori, Lori was mentioning that she does believe that pe some people just want to chat. And Ariana's is like, uh -huh. <laughs> she's disagreeing there. And we're actually going to be able to talk to Ariana after the break because we are going to head mm -hmm. to a break in a, um, shortly. But um, I think it's interesting because I do get a lot of people who want to chat, but they're also not being real. Like, it's like, how do we decipher between who's a real person and who's like, what are they called? Like, I'm just going to call them monkey brains because I don't know the actual tech word for it. But, you know, the people who just call up and they're they're trying to chat with you on Facebook and they're like, hi, hey, my wife died. I'm a, I'm a, you know, I'm working in, <laughs> in Iraq and I got, in my, I'm a widower and I'll work for the UN. And they all seem to work for the UN or the Army, the American Army, and they're all, they're all widowed with children. At least that's what I seem to get as stories. So, <laughs> like, what are what is that? Like, how do you decipher who's real and who's not real? Do you just go with your gut? Well, and that's that's 
Yeah, and it really comes down to just asking questions. Um, honestly, nowadays, there is a lot of information that people are putting out there. And if you were inclined, it's not too hard to really figure out who these people are by asking a few key questions um, and just having fun along the way. I believe that there's a lot of people out there that don't necessarily want to truly connect or they're afraid that perhaps they've been tainted over many messages, they've had a strong dialogue, they felt a strong connection with someone, and then when they've shifted off of one platform into another platform, something occurred, uh, now we're texting on cell phones, and it's just not the same, what happened, what shifted. Um, so it's just learning how to do it. And in my reality, I prefer, if you do have that connection with someone, just play there, be present. Um, it's okay not to respond right away. It's okay to create that sense of a, a delayed response. Um, but like I said, it really depends on what you're going for. And I, it's no different from when you're on a date. If it's if you're connected and you're hot and heavy, you could be in that restaurant bathroom in no time, or it could be delayed. <laughs> or, and both are enjoyable and fun and slow walks along the river. But it's uh, it's just a process and it's an adventure. And it's going to be different with every person that you connect with. Um, and it doesn't mean that it can't be meaningful every moment of the process. So it's just a, a, a blessing to be part of it. And uh, I, uh, I am open and available to help and guide those that might be stuck. And I have <laughs> had people and friends of mine call me All up and say, can you look at my dating profile? I'm stuck. Yeah. Oh, cool. And you yes. kind of check it out. And great. for also for for all the lost, beautiful women in the world, you're also available for any kind of coaching, right? I, I am available for a wide range of coaching. <laughs> I have a diverse skill set and a wide range of modalities, and I'm not afraid to play. So it's uh, nothing <laughs> not is quite taboo. To play. You and I have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, That's it's true. Uh, uh, yeah. it's it, there's a lightness. <laughs> I like and, how you uh, put that. I, if yeah. I could truly share some of our conversations, which I will never, because I cherish those moments now, and they're they're just for mine. <laughs> and sharing some of them just, just to diminish the energy. Damn That's it. really just art. <laughs> well, That's I don't awesome. want to see that. And, and your husband is a lovely man. So, I'm, uh, <laughs> congratulations again on your anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. Okay. Wow, this is going in funny directions, and now I'm blushing. Thanks a lot, Mr. Birkinshaw. We're, we're actually going to uh, go to our overdue break. So we're heading off to break now here. Uh, you're listening to The Pleasure Zone here on Inspired Choices Network. I'm your host, Mila Tsielanich, and we'll be right at, back after this break. Many of us have created a lot of limitations around sex and what we are willing to choose. What else is possible beyond what we have already seen, heard, or thought of? What if now is the time for a totally different sexual revolution? Taking the taboo out of all aspects of sex, sexuality, and copulation by tuning in to the Pleasure Zone radio show with body whisperer Milica Yelenich. You'll receive tools, inspiration, and a foundation to allow your to receive more in your sex life and quite possibly other areas of your life as well. Listen for The Pleasure Zone with Melissa every Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, 7 p.m. Central Time, 6 p.m. Mountain Time, and 5 p.m. Pacific Time on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Hey, everybody, this is Dr. Dane here, and I would like to invite you to an adventure in being. I've just written and finished a new book known as Being You, Changing the World. Are you one of those dreamers? One of those people who's always known that other possibilities should be available but haven't yet been able to see them be created? Well, I wrote this book for you. In it, you'll find tools, processes, and unique perspectives to change the things you've always wanted to change but didn't know how. In it, you'll find an invitation to a different possibility for a way that we can be in this world that changes not only our lives, but by being us, allows us to contribute to changing everything planet-wide that doesn't work. Are you aware that truly great people, truly being them, is the only thing that has ever created a great change on this planet? Are you willing to step up? Are you willing to be one? Check out a copy of my new book, Being You, Changing the World. I invite you to go to beingyoubook.com for a free gift. 
This is the Pleasure Zone with Body Whisperer Milica Yelenich. To participate in the program today, please call in the U.S. Call 815-880-8255. That's T-A-L-K. Or Canada 613-800-8736. Or you can Skype us at Inspired Choices Network. You can also make the choice to ask or comment by email at MilicaYelenich.com. Now back to the program. Welcome back to the Pleasure Zone, my sweet pleasure seekers. I'm so glad that you guys are listening in today because we have such great tips and tools. If you guys haven't been keeping track, don't worry. We have been. I have been taking notes from everybody, and I will have some tips and tools up there for you um, within the week. So, And we'll also have a link for Max Riggs Clearing that he does after he gets off uh, offline, off, offline online dating so that he can have more space and ease when he feels wonky after that. Um, and also, if my other guests have other things they'd like to add, they're totally welcome to. If uh, if they don't, that's cool, too, because, hey, this is such a random pop-up that we're creating. Um, so we actually have one more guest on tonight, and I'm excited to talk to her. The last time I talked to Ariana, she's such like a bubbly wonder of joy, and um, she's like a little sexy vixen, so I was really excited to have her on talking about her experiences, too, with online dating. So I want to welcome you, Ariana, to the Pleasure Zone, probably maybe for your first time, I don't know. Um, and wi- I just wondered, what has your experience been in the online dating world? How long have you been online dating for? And what kind of tips and tools have you used or would you recommend for our listeners? Oh, my God, with that kind of in- introduction, I'm blushing already. Thank you so much. <laughs> welcome <laughs> um yeah thank you for um uh, i mean first of all um i definitely want to thank you because when um when i answered your call on facebook and we had our little session um my session with you blasted open a whole new paradigm for me and it really just made such an incredible shift that i'm really grateful for that connection and thank you for having me on your show um <laughs> as far as yeah, you're so welcome. I I love that I've met you. It's really it's really um, been a contribution to my life. So, um, I think you know I've I, I'm similar. I have a similar story to most of the other contributors uh, to the program where I've been on some of the sites and then I stopped for a year or two and then I went back on the sites again. And what I noticed um, probably three weeks or a month ago is when I re entered the internet dating world um, and constantly working on my own consciousness that I was really coming at it from a new perspective. And um, what I found new for me that really made a huge difference is kind of like Lori said was just really having fun with it and dropping your conclusions and dropping your expectations and just seeing, you know, how can this experience make a contribution to my life and how can it change me? And what can I learn about the opposite sex through these interactions? Um, and so I've been just really following the energy and asking my body, you know, who it wants to interact with and where that can take and us. where that can take us. That's really cool. Apparently somebody wants to talk to me right now, but they can wait. But where where can this experience take you? That's really cool because, like, a lot yeah. of times people yeah. have a target, right, and they don't really consider that maybe choosing this person might be an experience that will take you somewhere else, right? Like, you could go on a date with um, Joe Blow, but he might be like, wow, you're a fantastic woman. Actually, you know what I get? You'd be great for my buddy Frank. And you're like, so cool, right? But had you not chosen to go out with Joe Blow, you might not get it, but it wasn't actually about Joe Blow. So it's like, how can this experience change me? Sometimes it's not actually that person. It might not be exactly that, but it's actually the the stepping stone that gets you what you're looking for. I love I love that you're playing with that. It's so cool. Exactly. So Yeah, I had a really interesting experiencing Oh, go ahead. Um, so, like I said, I've been on Match, but a year or two ago I was on Tinder, okay? <laughs> so when I would exchange phone numbers with people, I would put them in my phone 
and I would say Chris from Tinder, so that I would sort of have them tabulated, <laughs> sort of know, and take pull their profile picture and put that into my contact so I knew who I was talking to, and I really had it. I'm normally not this organized, but this was very important. So I'm on match, and I'm talking to, like, ten different guys, and suddenly, you know, I've created all this energy, and now I'm pulling energy for men to come find me, right? So some guy randomly from a year ago, Chris from Tinder, texted me one day, and he's like, hey, what have you been up to? And I'm like, wow, I'm really pulling some energy because this guy gave him my phone number a year ago, and he never followed up with me. Two days later, wow. another guy from another dating site that I hadn't contacted in over a year also contacted me. So, you know, it's really interesting to see how when we just drop our expectations and drop our barriers and just start pulling the energy in, what what can show up? And so the one guy from Tinder, just out of the blue, I, I didn't even know what he looked like. I didn't remember why I responded to him. I said, hey, let's meet for a drink. So I met him. And we had a great conversation on the phone, and he showed up, and I was like, oh, dear God, what have I done? This is so not anything <laughs> like anyone I would date, right? And so I'm sitting there, and we get there 10 minutes before the bar closes. Thank you, universe, for that, because I sat there for 10 minutes, and he, I'm just sitting there and feeling his energy and letting him gush all over me, and the experience of that, of just receiving energy from someone that maybe I wouldn't want to sleep with, but just receiving that mm. adoration empowered me so much that later that night I met another guy who was, like, fantastic. So you, you, oh, don't, you cool. really don't know as you follow the energy what's going to occur. Oh, I love that. I love that just, like, that is so fun. Just receive the energy from them even if you're not going to sleep with them there's great info right there because how many people are like i don't want to sleep with that person and they shut down they put up their barriers and they don't receive and then the other magic doesn't show up so as jonathan in the chat room is saying is we call him a fluffer <laughs> oh yeah he was a bit of an energetic <laughs> fluffer he got her all ready to rock and roll <laughs> so. it was but how many That's times awesome. do how many times do we refuse to receive energy from people because we decide they're not good enough for us or we don't like something that they say or we don't like what they stand for rather than just dropping our barriers and receiving what we can and going on with our lives and not making it be uh, some kind of have a conclusion about the fact that we receive from them. Oh, I love that. That is so lovely and it just speaks to so many areas of our lives as well not just online dating right it's just it's so true for business for all of it so yeah how many times do we actually refuse to receive from people because we have a fixed point of view about them oh they have a they have a scab on their knee they must be terrible person because they got a scab on their knee (laughs) we might think crazy stuff and then (laughs) we don't receive from them and I got to use scab on the knee because it's it, it's truly that ridiculous why we don't receive from people. It's like we don't receive from them from what? Why? Because they have a scab on their knee? Like, what the heck? So, I dare right. all of the exactly. listeners Exactly. I there, totally drop agree with your, that. Yeah. Yeah. So everybody out there, drop your barriers. I got a panel. I got, a, I got the CEO of Inspired Choices Network producing tonight. Um, she's also a producer, but she is the CEO. Mega powerful people who are willing to gift you energy. I dare you guys to drop your barriers and receive from these mega energy stars who are willing to gift you not only information but um, all kinds of things that would just allow your body to to uh, attract, possibly pull in and bring in um, the people that you're looking for that you are using online dating to look for and using their amazing um they're amazing, uh, you know, tools and tips. Uh, dating website experiencing Megaton. Yes, actually, <laughs> my producer does have a, a Megaton of experience on dating websites. I think that's what she's trying to say, but she spoke to me in Pig Latin. So we're just going to go with that. I know she does because she is, she's actually having a, a fabulous relationship right now with a really amazing guy she met online. So if she wasn't producing tonight, she also would have been a guest uh, for sure. So 
Actually, any one of my producers could have been um, a guest tonight because they have more experience in this field than I do. So, uh, yeah, so this has been a really, actually, it's been a really enlightening show. And I'm really grateful that you guys are on. We're not done yet, guys, by the way. We still have 10 minutes. Um, but I, I already I'm learning so much about, like, what you guys have gone through um, in terms of, you know, where you've picked up the awareness. Um, like, like Ariana, just you just acknowledging, oh, I'm going to just pull my barriers down. I'm going to receive this. And then, wow, I met somebody really cool after. I think these all of the tips that you guys have, we used even one or two more of them, uh, you know, with online dating or even in life. Like, how many of these tips that you guys are given out are actually completely irrelevant, uh, they com- are completely relevant to other areas of our lives, which um, when I look back on these li- on the list, like dropping your conclusions and expectations, this is great for all areas of your life, right? Um, getting organized. I actually have that as one of the tips, by the way, Ariana, because I like that you organized the phone numbers and pictures and getting it all making sense. It's a really good idea if you're if you're chatting up ten people to know who are you chatting to and having their story straight. Um, and also, well, and also like, look how to, cool that is. Yeah. That oh, sorry. I mean, just look how cool that is. That a guy from two a year ago or two years ago can contact me and bam, I have his picture and I know where he's from. You know, so, <laughs> so having that organization is helpful on, for longevity as well. I think it's brilliant. So if you guys need to get organized with your dating apps, guess who you're going to go to? Ariana. She only charges like $100 for like a 35-minute session to organize you. I'm sending you business, Ariana. You're going to organize people and their their apps so they know how to date or at least show them how to. What if you did a class for that? I think that would be great too. Online dating app class, getting your tools and gear and how to organize your peeps so you keep your stories straight. That's a really good idea. It's It truly is actually a really great idea for business as well. Um, I, I have a whole bunch of files in my brain. I don't, don't uh, like write files, but I know people who do um, back in the day, you know, when you used to have a Rolodex, I actually knew people that had the Rolodex and they would have, you know, um, we're going to use Joe Blow again. Like Joe Blow married three children, um, drinks, at, likes to gamble, three dogs, dog with arthritis. Like I knew people that would write down all the details so they wouldn't have to like keep it in their minds or keep, I just store it in the energetic cloud and tap into it when I feel like it. But people actually would, would keep notes on that and it was really useful both in business and in dating. So um, by all means, get yourselves organized, peeps. And if you don't know how, Ariana knows how, so you can contact her too. So, guys, we're actually going to go to our final and last break. And when we come back, I'm going to give uh, each panelist a little one-minute um, spleed that they can let you guys know how to find them, what they're up to. Um, and then, sadly, our show is going to be over in just a few minutes. So we are going to actually head to commercial break. Uh, you're listening to The Pleasure Zone here on Inspired Choices Network. I am your hostess with the mostest, Melita Jelinek, and we will see you right after this commercial break. Many of us have created a lot of limitations around sex and what we are willing to choose. What else is possible beyond what we have already seen, heard, or thought of? What if now is the time for a totally different sexual revolution? Taking the taboo out of all aspects of sex, sexuality, and copulation by tuning in to the Pleasure Zone radio show with body whisperer Milica Yelenich. You'll receive tools, inspiration, and a foundation to allow your to receive more in your sex life and quite possibly other areas of your life as well. Listen for The Pleasure Zone with Melitza every Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, 7 p.m. Central Time, 6 p.m. Mountain Time, and 5 p.m. Pacific Time on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Are you a subject matter expert? Are you here to share your expertise with an audience waiting to hear from you in only the way you can deliver? Are you ready to have your voice amplified across the airwaves? Inspired Choices Network has a global radio platform streaming to millions of people across the world. Professionally produced and supported by an accomplished team every step of the way, you can broadcast from anywhere in the world 
knowing your voice matters, and we ensure it is delivered with ease and efficiency. Eager to hear your message, the world awaits. Contact us today to become an Inspired Choices Network radio host. Email become a host at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. This is The Pleasure Zone with body whisperer Melissa Yelenich. To participate in the program today, please call in the U.S. Call 815-880-8255. That's T-A-L-K. Or Canada, 613-800-8736. Or you can Skype us at Inspired Choices Network. You can also make the choice to ask or comment by email at MelissaYelenich.com. Now back to the program. Welcome back, my sweet pleasure seekers. You're listening to The Pleasure Zone here on Inspired Choices Network, and I'm your hostess with the most, this Melita Jelinek, and tonight I have my panel on. And I'm going to give my panel each about a 35-second, 40-second um, chance to just let us know how to find them. So when I call your names, guys, get ready to rock and roll and speak them up. So Max Riggs, thank you so much for being on the show, Max. I just wondered if you can let our listeners know how to find you. Um, and what are you up to next? Did we lose Max? Oh, I think Max is on listen right now. We can go to our next person. We'll let Max uh, get himself on to the speaking mode. So I'm going to move on. Uh, we're going to go to Lori. So hi, Lori. Thank you so much for being on tonight. Oh, thank you so much. This was so fun. Cool. Would you be able to give our listeners a little chance to find out how to find you um, and what are some fun things that you're up to next? You have about 30 seconds. All right, great. Well, you can find me on Facebook at Lori K. Lori K. Stansbury or uh, my website is lauriestansbury.com. And what am I up to next? Well, I'm creating uh, some really fun games with money. And, uh, yeah, I've been in, I'm inspired by this radio show to create some trainings around dating as well. How fun would that be? I love it. Thank you so much, Lori. Jonathan, how can our listeners find you? And what kind of silliness are you up to in the universe next? Well, as you know, I typically don't promote myself, but that Max, though, he's one dashing man, very charming, <laughs> elegant, graceful, super aware of energy, and he can be found at maxriggs.com. That's maxriggs.com. But uh, if you'd like to connect with me, I'm currently developing and creating a wide range of uh, projects, uh, but uh, you can always just email levelofaccess at gmail.com or facebook.com backslash levelofaccess is another way to kind of connect in, and then I can... Uh, redirect you if you're interested in a session, if you're interested in a one-on-one, or just even a quickie uh, sampling, I can make myself available and we can just see how it unfolds in place from there. Cool. So, Aaron, thanks for promoting mm-hmm. Max. We're going to get him back on quick. Um, by the way, uh, working the with Jonathan would be, the would be the best, by the way. He does one-on-ones and he does group things as well, it's just if you know what I mean. But he also he also does stuff that he doesn't always admit to, like he does a cash at greetings. So if you guys connect with him, he can actually do a, a lot of different things. He's just not very professionally good at promoting himself. He's just really good at promoting other people. So I'm gonna promote his little butt. And Ariana, you got about 25 seconds to talk. Can you tell us how people can find you? Sure. Uh, I do energy healing and I do life coaching. You can find me at intuitiveawakeninginstitute.com or I have a group called Single and Awakened on Facebook and through Meetup in my area, Greenville, South Carolina. Cool. Thank you. And Max, you got the last 15 seconds. Go. Okay. Well, I'm exploring um, little energetic forces that keep people from creating changes they'd like to change. So you can find me, um, like Jonathan said, maxriggs.com. And thanks a lot for having me on your show. Thanks so much for coming on, all you guys. It's been a pleasure having a panel today. It's been so fun having all of your insights. And we'll get that info to you guys real soon. 
Thank you for choosing to listen to The Pleasure Zone. Milica Yelenich will return next Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, 7 p.m. Central, 6 p.m. Mountain, and 5 p.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. We hope you'll join us. Until then, have the best week of your life by choosing to be turned on and tuned in to your body.